Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new video. I was in the mood to kind of just sit down, do my makeup, try out some new products that I recently picked up from Sephora and Morphe, and do my makeup. So we did like this really nice glowy, dewy, fresh summer look, and I am obsessed with the way it turned out. So if you're interested to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I don't usually drink coffee, but it is Friday and Ryan got a summer moon. This is like the only thing I drink and like an ice white mocha at Starbucks because it's like barely coffee as you can see it's very milky colored and that's how i like it so i'm taking my first sip it literally tastes like a milkshake i did some deep hydration already so we're good on that but one of the new products i wanted to show you guys was the golden hour glow screen from super goop so i was using the original shade this whole time and because it's a sunscreen i thought it just had that like white cast on it but i guess they made a new shade and it is perfect for my skin tone. Here is a swatch. It literally blends into my skin. I did a TikTok comparing both of the shades and there was like a huge difference. Um, so I'm very excited that they came out with this shade because this is perfect for a no makeup day. I've been loving wearing it for like a pool day or a lake day. Um, so this is what it looks like and it's honestly really glowing on its own. Like I know I had like a lot of hydration underneath and I was already glowy, but it is named the glow screen for a reason. So today's look is going to be very dewy, fresh summer vibes. And I got two new skin tints and I'm usually a full coverage gal. I love like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. I love my Makeup Forever HD stick. My favorite drugstore foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. But I have been seeing skin tints all over TikTok, of course. I feel like I'm influenced by TikTok so much on a daily basis. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted to get because this one, I've heard so much about on TikTok and then I swatched this one in store and I was mind blown. So I got them both. So we have the Rare Beauty um, Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer and it has SPF 20. I got this one in the shade 46C. Then this one is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. Obviously I'm not going to be using both today, but I did want to just like swatch both on my hand to see the difference and then choose one from there so this one's the rare beauty one and then brace yourselves because this looks like so weird when it's swatched but like so cool okay so as you can see it's like sliding off my hand and there's like little foundation beads in it i'm just like so intrigued by that rose ink one so i think i'm like leaning towards that look how it blends out it is insane It just blends out like a normal foundation, which is so wild to me. Okay, I feel like the Rose Ink one actually has more coverage than the Rare Beauty one. So let's do that because I'm just really, really intrigued about it. Let's do it. Not really sure how much I needed, but let's see what this first layer looks like and then we can assess color match was on point it looks really good I don't love that you can like see the texture on my skin because my skin had like a weird freak out recently um, but I think this is enough of the product so let's move into concealer which I also have a new product for that and I haven't tried the NARS radiant creamy concealer yet so I thought I would give it a shot I got it in the color biscuit medium dark one take it under my eye I feel like I'm used to like a bigger doe foot applicator. This one is definitely on the skinnier side, but maybe that's probably better. I asked the Sephora employee like what she recommended and she said this one because it just like doesn't crease. She said she doesn't even like set her under eyes at all. I was like, okay, I need to like try this out because that is unheard of when I do makeup. My first impressions with this product is that just like the color was a little bit more on the peach side. I like a more yellow tone, so maybe I could exchange the color. I mean, it doesn't look bad when it's blended out. My eyes look like really nice. Like it's almost like an eyeshadow primer because they're like not really creasing, which I feel like they crease immediately if I don't set them. For contour, I've been using the Dibs Beauty Stick in the shade, crap, I don't know what shade this is, but the colors are level up for the bronzer side and then the blush is plot twist but i actually purchased quite a bit of blushes so we won't be using the blush side we'll just use the contour side
This product is so creamy and buttery and it blends out really nicely. So I went to Sephora earlier in the week and I really only needed like a powder but I got three blushes, two of which are creams. So let me show you guys. This blush is the Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duo in Cosmic Coral. And then these are the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Color. This color is Dahlia, it's a bit darker. And then this one is Foxglove. I think I wanna try Foxglove today. I just wanna go for like more light, fresh look. So let's do it. I think I'm just gonna take my finger and tap into it. It looks like really like spongy, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a cream product, yeah. And then I love to add a little bit of blush on the nose. The base looks good, so let's set it and then we can move into eyes and powder products. I bought this a while ago and then I stopped using it because I was just using other products. And I recently got back into it and I really like it. It's the Huda Beauty um, Banana Bread Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. The best part about it is that it comes with its own little applicator. So you don't have to like scrummage through your whole makeup collection to find your freaking powder brush. Wait a second, I forgot. I wanted to do like a cream eye possibly. Let's see what I have. Let's use this. It's from Ilia and it is the liquid powder chromatic eye tint. This is in the color umber and it's kind of just like a bronze, like rose gold. I'm gonna blend out with my fingers. I went in lightly with the setting powder because I still want my face to have that like really nice glowy skin. So I kind of just set where I really needed it like under my eyes, on my eyelids because I still wanted to keep that really nice glow. As you can see, my cheeks are still glowing, but the rest of my face where I really need it has the soft matte look. The liquid eyeshadow gave it a really nice base, but I actually just got this Jaclyn Hill palette that I literally just forgot about until now. And it is the Divine Neutrals palette. Look at these colors. They are stunning and I really wanna play around with them so I thought we could do like a little smoky eye today and see how they do. Taking just barely and I'm gonna go in and double set my eye just in case. Just going down the line, we're gonna be using Good Vibes next and I'm gonna be putting this in the crease. I'm gonna take Risky Business. It looks like a kind of like a purple glitter color. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that, but I'm gonna go in with like more of a gold color. See what that looks like. I'm kind of shook at these eyeshadows because this palette was like not that expensive compared to like all the other ones I bought and they're kind of like shit compared to this. So if you guys are looking for a neutrals palette and I feel like this is definitely like more of a travel size palette compared to the ones I have at least. Definitely recommend this Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. I think I wanna put Birthday Suit in the corner of my eyes. We'll just see what it looks like. That's really pretty. Okay, so now let's move on to eyeliner and mascara. For eyeliner, I've been using this one from Lancome. Honestly, I've been giving up on wings. I just kinda of like to keep it simple and fast. So we're just gonna do a straight across line. For mascara, we're going to be using Roller Lash by Benefit. I feel like this is not a shock to anyone. I do want to try this blush out and just add a little bit more color to my cheeks. So let's go in and just like take both of the colors. Very pink. Let's see what it looks like. Next step is to do brows and I Got them laminated a little less than a month ago and they still look pretty good. I think they say they usually last like six to eight weeks or is it four to six? I can't even remember. But anyways, they're looking pretty good and so all we have to do is just brush them out and then fill them in. Um, and my favorite brow product right now is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in Medium Brown. I 
had the dark brown color at first, but I just had to get used to having like a light hand because you have to like do like the hair like strokes. And so I just ended up getting the medium brown because it's easier and it just doesn't look as harsh. And I've really been just liking like a fluffy, light, natural looking brow lately. Okay, I do feel like I'm getting a little bit too glowy for my liking. So I'm gonna take my all-time favorite powder for touch-ups. I don't usually set my face with this because I'm kind of greedy. It's expensive. It is the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. It is insane. It like makes you look like a porcelain doll. So I'm just gonna put it right here, kind of just like in that triangle area where I don't love to be oily. Like I like to be glowy on my cheeks, but I don't wanna accentuate my texture like right here where it's happening. For lips, we're gonna be using this new Morphe lip liner I got. It's in the color Sweet Tea. I was at the mall and I just walked in because I was like, oh, Morphe, let's check it out. They were having a sale and this lip liner was two freaking dollars. I should have stocked up way more. I only got two, but I really like this color. It's like so beautiful. And it kind of reminds me of the MAC lip liner in cork. I swear this is a very similar dupe. I'm gonna have to find my cork lip liner and do like a little swatch and see if it's exact. I kind of like this one a bit better because it is a lot more creamy than MAC's lip liner. For gloss, I just use whatever is around, honestly. I have like so many random chapsticks and like lip balms and lip glosses, so whatever is like near me, I just put on top. But today we're gonna be using the Dibs Beauty Just Clear Gloss. And this is perfect because I feel like this lip liner doesn't really need too much color on top, but giving it a little bit of a shine just adds so much to it. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like every time I film like a makeup video, I always forget like one step. So now I'm trying to stare at myself like, do I need anything else? Like, am I missing something? Here's the final look, very glowy, very dewy. I'm loving it and it's very not like me because I feel like I usually go for a matte look, especially because I live in Texas. It's always hot here, so I'm going outside and just sweating and I'm already like glowing even if I go the matte route. But hopefully it holds up and I'm really loving how it was kind of just like a skin tint. It wasn't anything super heavy, but with the final product, it does kind of look full coverage. I will have all the products linked in the description box. And if you guys are interested in more beauty content like this, you can go follow me on TikTok because I've actually been doing some product reviews over there and I'm hoping to do more in the future. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.